Hey class, I want to take a minute here to make a video for you to review what we did today in class on Friday, today being Friday, the 7th of October. <clears throat> so let me share my screen. Um, yeah, there are kind of a lot of uh, moving parts here. So the first thing you need to do is go get ta tag ant, one word tag ant. It's a piece of software created by Lawrence Anthony, a professor in Japan. He himself is not Japanese, but he is a professor in Japan. <clears throat> and um, yeah, you you download one of these. If I, I mentioned in class, it's probably safer to do the portable one and find the exe file in the directory that is uh, created once you unzip it. If you use a Mac, then you click on this one. And what it does is it part it uh, tags for part of speech files. So let's do that real quick. I'll just show you what I did, I've already done this, but I'll just go ahead and erase what I've done in the past to do it again now. I should have done this before I started the video. Video. Um, do it real quick. Okay, so what I have here, I have three volumes of Saints. I just have the TXT files. These are just raw TXT files. Each chapter, let me zoom, cover up what's back there. So these are just, each chapter has its own text file from the three, three volumes of saints that have been released by the church so far. Okay. <clears throat> and then I go into ant, uh, fire, tag ant here. And there are two options here on the bottom left, or the, the bottom left quadrant of the screen, right? It says input files. So I click on that radio button there. And I go to open files. <clears throat> and I go find the files on my hard drive. I go into saints, volume one, text, and select all of those texts, 30, you know, 46 texts there. And I click on open files again to get volume two. We navigate to volume two to get volume two's text here, select all, open a third time, open files, go back and get into volume three and get those, boom. Okay, good. Now there's something we need to change. Don't push go yet. Don't push start yet. You need to change this over here. And it's important that you get this one right here that says word plus sign POS underscore tag plus sign lemma. Don't get that one. Don't get that one. Get this one right here that has that exact sequence. Word POS underscore tag lemma. And then you say start. And this may take a little bit of time. It's working on part of speech tagging right now. It's it's using a part of speech tagger called Spacey, which uh, is a pretty good one. That is um, controlled from Python. It's uh, meant to be meant to be used in Python. So it's going through part of speech tagging. It's giving me a progress bar down here in the bottom left of my screen, and it's listing out the files as it goes here. Um, every time it lists a new file, it updates the list, so I can't watch it. Anyway, it's working, it's on volume three, it looks like now, working, working here. And once it's done tagging, what it will do is in each of those three directories where I have the text files, it's gonna create a new directory called tagged right within it. Looks like it's done now, it took 53 seconds, okay? So let's go back here. So for example, this is volume one, here are the text files that I just put into fire, put into tag ant. And here is a directory called tagged, tagged, that was weird. And um, if you zoom in, you'll see what it did. Zoom in here and just look at some. So here's tension underscore NN underscore tension. That's probably not the best example. Here's no, this is a little clear what's going on here. So in my, um, what I've selected right now in blue, I have lingered underscore VBD underscore linger. So this is the word, linger is the word, or excuse me, lingered is the word, VBD is the part of speech tag, and linger is the lemma. Now these parts of speech tags right here um, are not fully transparent, but if you were to search for pen, two ends from Pennsylvania, University of Pennsylvania, pen tree bank tag set, and take a look at the first hit, or I assume any of the hits, but the first one is a nice summary sheet. And if you look at this, um, VBD is verb past tense. So let me flip back over to the, the text. 
So yeah, VBD right there in blue is past tense. So it's saying, hey, here's the word, here's the part of speech, and here's the lemma that it belongs to, the family of words that it belongs to. Here's gone, here's VBN, go. VBN is past participle, right there. Okay, so that's what it does. That's what the tag ant produces for us. So each of those directories has its own tagged um, directory now. So you can see we're in volume one, text, and then within text, there's a new directory called tagged. Don't get confused, the, the files that are in the text directory are the, tail, the text files that we created or that we put into tagged ant. And then it created this new directory down here. It created it for us and for, I didn't do this. And these are the ones that actually have the tags that have um, word, part of speech and lemma separated by uh, underscores. Okay, so that's what it does. Now let's pull up AntConc and load this up. Let me get AntConc right here. AntConc 4, I should say. I'm gonna use AntConc 4. If you um, are still having trouble with Ant-Con crashing when you're using Windows, I encourage you to use the portable one. Uh, the portable, let me just real quick show you what I'm talking about. If I just go in Google, uh, Ant-Con, Lawrence Anthony. This one right here says portable. That one um, didn't crash, doesn't crash on the lab computers in the classroom. So I now have it open. If you're on Mac, that shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully not at all on Mac. Um, so what I have here is AntConf uh, 4. Go up to File, and then the second option is Corpus Manager. Open Corpus Manager. And then I'm going to use this real quick just to, um, yeah, OK. You don't have to do what I just did. But so now I'm going to go add files right here. Add, no, excuse me. I'm going to go up here to raw files right there. Raw files, second option of these three radio buttons. Raw files, I think I'll call this saints, add files. I'm going to go find uh, saints, volume one, text, and then find the tag. Again, I'm looking for the tags. Once then grab those, highlight all those and say open. And then do add files again and then navigate to volume two into the text, but again, into the tagged text over here. Select all those, open, add files, navigate to volume three, get into my tagged directory here, boom. Again, make sure you're not selecting the, the raw text files, you're selecting the tagged text files in the tag directory there. Okay, that's the first step. Next step is right here. This is really important. Under the basic settings, I we saw that I did it without explaining it. Basic settings, it says indexer, encoding, token definition. If you click on that to expand it out, the indexer needs to be changed to the second option there. The default um, won't be useful here. So the, the second option there, which says simple word, POS, head word, and indexer. The head word means lemma. This creator of the software is using the word head word for lemma. And then, then that should be good. So once again, I just, I call it saints. It doesn't matter what you call it, but I added up all the files. There are 129 saints files from the three volumes that have been published so far. And then I changed this again. This is important to change this, the second option, simple word POS head word indexer, and then say create. And it'll take a couple seconds here to create the corpus. Good, this corpus has been created successfully, awesome. Down here on the bottom right, it says return to main window. Terrific, so I can see, yeah, the 129 files. There are over 700,000 words across those 129 files right there. Now, if I just search BE and go, it's, uh, well, okay. Yeah, right now the default is to select words, actually search for full words. I actually don't want to do that. Um, I want to instead um, do deselect all those three things. So there's nothing selected there. And if I were to start this again, I'll click start again to do the search again. It's just going to find B anywhere, not as whole words, right? So now what I want to do is I want to get in here and say, okay, 
the way that let me just jump back over here the way that the part of speech tag is organized like uh, we saw a second ago let me highlight that for us and zoom way in look at the blue stuff so the way that it's organized is that you have the word an underscore you have the part of speech tag an underscore and then the lemma you have three pieces of information separated by two underscores right in the middle of there right so if I have everything deselect, I'm not doing a regex search. I'm not doing the type of search we saw previously this week. Um, I'm doing a different one. And in Anconc, the default behavior for an asterisk is zero or more characters. So I can say zero or more characters for the word. I don't care what word it is. And then an underscore. So I'll say, I'll say zero or more characters underscore. And then the POS tag, I don't really care about either. So I'll say that asterisk, zero more characters there. And then the underscore again, I'm talking about that underscore. And then the lemma, now I wanna put B. Um, and if I say go, I, I actually hit return on my keyword rather than pressing start. You can see what it did here. It found the word B in any of the head words, what are called the, the lemmas. So I can actually say, okay, do this backslash B. This is kind of like a quasi regex thing. I'm not I'm honestly sure what's happening here. But if I search go now, if I click go now, I should end up with all forms of the verb be. So I got was, be, been, is, be, was, been, is, was, etc. I assume we have a word here's being. Being Latter-day Saint could be challenging. Were, oh, there was were. Anyway, so all forms of be have now been found. And if I want to find the passive voice. If I come back here to my pen tree bank tag set, we saw this a second ago, but the VBN are past participles. So if I say, hey, I want to find all forms of B and then any past participle, any any um, word that is tagged as VBN because of that VBN right there, I would say space, any word underscore. Now the, the part of speech tag has to be VBN like that. And then if I don't care about the head word, the lemma, I don't have to specify anything else. I'll click go or start. <clears throat> and there I got be baptized, a lot of be baptized. They sorted it by the past participle. And so that's why we're getting a lot of baptized here first. Um, sealed. Anyway, it sorted it in a certain way. There's called. It did some sorting for us, but there you go. We got the passive voice because we got any form of um, any form of B followed by a past participle. Okay, let me show you one other search. If I were to find, if I wanted to find the, um, sorry, let me let me tell my colleague one second. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I want to find the the construction where you have a verb and then a possessive pronoun. And then the actual word way, and then a preposition, like he worked his way through school, or she elbowed her way into the conversation. That construction where we have um, any verb. So I need any word, but the part of speech must begin with a capital V. Because if we jump and look at the, the tags, all of these verbs begin with a capital V. So I want any verb like that. Good. Now here, let me just do, finish this up. This is a little interesting. This right here, capital V asterisk means the, the first letter of the part of speech tag should be capital V, but it can have zero or more characters after that. By the way, the plus sign here would work as well. I'll just keep it as asterisk for fun. No, I guess I'll use the plus sign. Either one will be fine. So I wanna find that. And then I wanna find um, any word that begin, the, whose tag begins with a capital P. And then um, any uh, head word. I wonder if I can, let's try it if I can do that. And then I want the actual word way. And then I want any word that, be, that has the IN. IN is the tag for preposition right here. If I let that go, what happens? Yeah, that's, that's good, that's progress right there. Although we're getting some extraneous stuff here, like halfway and away are in there. So if I say, I only want words, I only want that exact word way. Um, and so there we have, they would find their way to the house of Heinz 
uh, Latter-day Saint refugees found their way to the mission home as well, um, began pushing their way to Germany, um, chewed their way into food sacks, so something chewed their way into food sacks, came their way down. Anyway, we have this construction where we have verb, possessive pronoun, possessive adjective, that is, the word way, the actual word way, and then a uh, preposition. Um, so anyway, this is kind of a cool way that we can use this software, two pieces of software, actually. The Fire, I keep saying Fire Ant because he has another piece of software called Fire Ant. It's actually Tag Ant, Tag Ant, because it does part of speech tagging. Uh, it's built on top of Spacey, which is pretty cool. And then uh, you can load those up into Anconc and um, use those parts of speech to um, do sophisticated searches. So anyway, that's what I want to show you here. See you next time. Let's see how do I stop the video?